The University of Sydney is the first university established in Australia in 1850. It has around 70,000 students. It also has around 7,000 employees. The Australian Research Centre for Innovative Bioengineering is a centre funded by the Federal Government of Australia and the uh, New South Wales uh, Government to uh, empower innovation and to train the next generation of researchers and young early career researchers into innovation and medical discoveries. The multidisciplinary approach of the centre is achieved through the innovative, multidisciplinary nature of our researchers working together in areas of biomaterials, nanomedicine, 3D and additive manufacturing, biosensors, medical imaging, computational modelling and biomechanics. The work of Professor Alistair McQueen, Professor Munjid Al Mudarris is in prosthetic robotic implants. People with disability from losing a limb require a sturdy osseointegrated joint um, to improve their lives. We are looking at measuring the electrical properties of the tissue uh, to inform us about the tissue regeneration process, reduce healing times and pick up issues such as infection. We use bioimpedance, which enables us to measure these electrical properties of tissue. And we also are using electrical stimulation to enable people to use their osseointegrated joint um, in a much shorter period of time. And this leads to better quality of life and improved outcome. We're very excited to work with Haas team here. We are developing antimicrobial coatings for osseointegration implants. We're also developing sensors on the nerve and on the muscles so that our patients with the osteoarthritis implant can control their limbs through their thoughts. Dr. Mohammed's area is in ceramics and 3D, 4D printing. About 2 million people undergo bone graft procedure each year. So I'm quite excited about the sterilitographic 3D printing technique that we are developing to generate the next generation of bone graft with optimized architecture, biochemistry, and mechanics. We are duplicating the actual bone because bone is optimized through evolution. Dr. Gurvinder Singh is in the area of nanomedicine and nanotechnology. So my area of expertise is nanobiotechnology. We are working towards to use a nanotechnological approach to design smart and intelligent multifunctional nanosystem. And these are nanosystems are really small, 13 to 15 nanometer in size and we can inject into the bloodstream and can be taken by the cancerous tumor cell. I'm very excited about to use this nanoparticle to treat the cancer cell. Dr. Leilak Barakat is in the area of biosensors. I'm working on uh, nanobioelectronics, uh, specifically biosensors, uh, to sense the electrical properties of tissues. Um, uh, focusing on applications such as monitoring uh, tissue healing um, as well as monitoring um, activity of muscles or connection between neurons and muscles. Professor Kim Jinman area is in medical imaging. Medical imaging is going through major disruption due to new emerging technologies such as machine learning, artificial intelligence and the availability of big data. As part of this training centre, we are using imaging and integrating that to help solve biomedical engineering questions such as implants, uh, rehabilitation and even new emerging areas such as uh, image omics. The Australian Research Council for Innovative Bioengineering will have great impact in the number of researchers that will be graduating in the future with capabilities not only to be outstanding researchers but also to have the skills and innovation to be the entrepreneurs and the students who will be able to translate our discoveries to marketable product adding to the entrepreneurial and innovative capabilities of Australia. Thank you.